The coronavirus is hard on older people, and scientists aren't sure why. New York Times article today, okay? I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Look. This research paper, okay? Entitled, The Relationship Between Severity of Adult Community Acquired Pneumonia and Impairment of the Antioxidant Defense System. Coronavirus, when it's severe, gets into the lungs, becomes a respiratory problem, a big one, in the elderly, in the sick, okay? So coronavirus, to me, is like the community acquired pneumonia because that's what's happening. It's getting in their lungs. That's paper number two. Paper number three. Oh, this is published in, uh, well, it's, it's study from University of Chile, Salvador Hospital, um, Faculty of Medicine. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, in, published in Biological Research. Okay. This one. Another research paper. Glutathione serum levels and rate of multimorbidity development in older adults. What does multimorbidity mean? Multimorbidity means the coexistence of multiple chronic conditions in a single individual. Low glutathione levels in individuals who have multiple uh, diseases going on in older population. Low glutathione scientists, wake up. Redox imbalance in older people. Scientists, wake up. It's been published. Get off your butt and start reading, okay? You don't need to do new research. The stuff has already been published. This paper was done 2013. This one was done 2019. We're not done. Vitamin A and immunity and viral, bacterial, and protozoan infections published 1999 from the University of School of Medicine, John Hopkins. Pretty good. Okay, so last two decades, considerable evidence has emerged that vitamin A plays an important role in immunity and in infectious diseases. Vitamin A deficiency causes pathological alterations in the epithelium of the respiratory tract. You know, and why in the elderly? Because they have low stomach acid, okay? They may be on acids, they might be, you know, just lower, natural, low stomach acid. And they're not going to be absorbing fat, soluble vitamins like vitamin A. Vitamin deficiency in older adults is higher than in healthy younger ones, especially in those who eat meat and fatty containing foods. So we've got vitamin A deficiency in elderly population who are not absorbing fat, soluble nutrients. We have low glutathione in elderly who have multiple diseases going on. We have an imbalance in the redox uh, system in the lung because they have a huge amount of immune reaction going on in their lungs and there's little glutathione there to say, hey, immune system, stop attacking the lungs and bringing in so much histamine and all these immune cells to attack self and fill up the lungs full of immune fluid that you drown in your own fluid, which is called pneumonia, and die. So when you have papers like this, which cause fear and panic, and scientists say, oh, I don't know, I don't know what's causing it, get off your ass and start reading it. This information took me just a few hours of research, and I did this a few weeks ago, I believe, or a couple weeks ago, and I did a whole Facebook Live on it. I read the articles for you. I walked through how to supplement, and now I'm doing a shorter one because I thought it was done, but this thing keeps perpetuating. Look, the coronavirus is, it's a problem for the elderly. And it's a problem for the elderly who are vitamin A deficient and who are redox imbalanced. A redox imbalance comes from low glutathione, low antioxidant uh, potential in their body. Okay, so low vitamin C, low vitamin D, low vitamin uh, E, and vitamin uh, A is for the immune system, but then you have low glutathione, low PQQ, okay? So low antioxidants. So, you know, it, it's, 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 uh, it's really frustrating. Um, so, and I'm just gonna walk through it real quickly. 
Liposomal glutathione is the best form of glutathione. If you have nebulized glutathione, that's also good. But getting your hands on nebulized glutathione in hospitals who have their heads up their butt is probably not going to be so easy. So you got to be using liposomal glutathione. Okay? We still have some. So, and start with a few drops. This stuff is powerful. Start with a few drops. It doesn't taste good, but who cares? Um, and it's easy to do. You just flip open the cap, okay? And preferably hold it in your mouth for a few seconds. Doesn't taste good. If you don't want to do that, next best option is glutathione in capsules, but you have to get S-acetyl glutathione. If you just get capsules that are reduced glutathione, you're not doing any benefit. It's got to be S-acetyl glutathione. The S-acetyl in front of the glutathione means that it's protecting the glutathione from stomach acid. Reduced glutathione, you take that in a capsule, your stomach acid is going to destroy the glutathione right back into the amino acids of glycine, glutamate, and, and uh, cysteine. It's, it's, it's going to be trash. Okay, So reduced glutathione is garbage. You need to have glutathione uh, plus like this one and I'll show you what it says on the back if you need to get it from someone else But uh, I don't think you can read that um, But it's S acetyl glutathione is what you want or optimal glutathione plus from seeking health vitamin A This is uh, Missilized vitamin A. So this is vitamin A that is little tiny particles that are very very easy to absorb and there's 5,000 units of vitamin A per drop so in acute situations, I like giving 100,000 units, which is 20 drops, for three days and then stop. And this is in adults, non-pregnant, non-breastfeeding individuals. So I'm focusing here on the elderly, your moms, your dads, your grandparents, okay? So vitamin A, it's one drop is 5,000 units of fat soluble vitamin A that is misalized and easy to absorb. And I'll stop shaking it so you can read it. Then you need a possible PQQ. Let's say you do really poorly with glutathione. PQQ is a phenomenal antioxidant. It's the best antioxidant that I know of. You take PQQ, it's easy. And uh, what I like to do is I just take this a little bit, pop it in the mouth, chew it a few times. Wow, that stuff rocks. I already feel it. Glutathione I usually feel, but PQQ lately I'm feeling more. That's ridiculous. Mind blown. Okay, PQQ. And it's less expensive than glutathione as well. The problem is we don't have the research of PQQ as we do with the research on glutathione. I have not seen research that says PQQ is a phenomenal in community acquired pneumonia or lung severity um, you know issues but I also haven't researched for it but there's not very much stuff published with PQQ compared to glutathione but PQQ is great stuff. NAC there's a lot of talk about NAC uh, building up glutathione nah uh, yeah it's true but I did a face I did a, a Instagram TV a video on this as well so watch that as to why NAC is not the best option but glutathione is uh, we do have this back in stock it just arrived yesterday liposomal vitamin C is great helps stabilize mast cells mast cells when they get upregulated uh, releases more histamine more histamine is more immune response more immune response is more fluid in the lungs so you got to calm the, the immune response down. you got to calm the histamine response down. You need to increase the antioxidants. You need to increase the, the ability for your immune cells to actually fight and kill things with vitamin A and zinc. So we ran out. So I've got a, another bottle that I grabbed. We like to label them on the top so we can find them in the drawer. Um, but optimal zinc, it says it's a lozenge, but chew it. Uh, it causes, it, it tastes okay in the beginning. But that has kind of a, a, a natural burning feel in the mouth, so drink some water after. Uh, it's just the zinc doing it. And you want zinc that's bound to uh, a mineral of, well, a, a protein of some sort, amino acid. So zinc chelate is what you want. You can use a zinc, zinc citrate. We use a, a zinc bisglycinate chelate, so the absorption is quite good. Um, and zinc uh, absorption is problematic. Uh, in a number of, of people for a number of things. Vitamin D hits during this time of year because vitamin D levels are kind of at their all-time low because you've gone all winter 
you've burned through your stores of vitamin D. Now your immune system is, is less able to act because vitamin D acts on immune uh, stimulus to fight infections. But now in March, late February, your vitamin D stores in the Northern Hemisphere are, they're gone because you've used them all up for other infections. So load up, okay? We also have D3 plus K2, um, I think, but we might be sold out, um, but we still have vitamin D3. So you can use cod liver oil, you can eat liver, you can, um, you know, going out in the sun now is not gonna do it because vitamin D is not at its peak. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, you're probably not getting as impacted as much by the coronavirus because your vitamin D levels are probably good. Um, but even if you are, I don't watch the news because I don't believe in the nonsense that's being perpetuated. Um, get out in the sun and, and get some vitamin D in you. Okay, so I hope that serves you. Please share this. Please get this out to the people. And please share it with the scientists who are, are just sitting around in rooms talking about, oh, we don't have any evidence. It's everywhere. Read it. Thank you.